tell you about me is to say that I loved being a mom. You know, uh, life before that is a blur. Uh, my son was my only child. Uh, I wasn't supposed to be able to have children, so he was everything for me. Gun violence really became a reality when my son was killed. Up until then, it was always somebody else's child. Never, it was never anybody I knew. So I could always detach a little bit and say, it's a shame, it's sad, but I was always distanced from it. And now it's, it is my reality. It's all that there is because my son was all that there was for me, and now he's gone. So it's hard to describe in a positive way what I feel about this city. In every way possible, it destroyed my world, my life. It took my son, my heart. It's affected me. And everything I think, Everything I do, it first needs to be acknowledged by everybody and not passed over. And then we have to try to work as communities to get the guns off the street, to teach people that life matters, all life, not one or another, but everybody's life makes a difference. I mean, somebody being shot could be the next Einstein to cure cancer, to do anything. And we're losing all of our potentials and losing our people. And it affects us more than anybody can understand unless they've been through it. No one will ever get it. And that's the sad part because they need to understand it before it happens to them. Leave it alone. Don't touch it. It's not worth the things that can happen. Just don't touch it at all. Don't put it down. Don't do any of that. Just don't pick it up. It's more important to be proactive than reactive. And if you don't touch it and you tell somebody, then it's a life saved. And that's important because it could be Whoever is listening to this video, it could be their child next.